Hi, Scott Lackman from 4510 TV, a community worth watching. Today's episode, viewers, we're with uh, Patricia Clunes, the president of Zonta. Uh, Kabulcha, how are you going, Patricia? Well, thank you, Scott, and yourself? Good, good. Thanks for joining us and sharing what Zonta's all, uh, what's happening. Um, a busy year ahead, 2021. The next thing on our agenda that we want to touch base today is um, there's a Be Brave program uh, you're running. It's like a martial arts program for grade five to six. Yes. Tell us about that. So Be Brave started a few years ago now, probably, you know, five or six years ago, and it started in the high schools and it was called Fight Like a Girl. But then we decided, well, you know, we didn't want people using the word fight, so we had to look at something else. Well, the students that undergo the program, they're being brave doing the program. And we switched it around this year to the primary school. So it's for year five and six to show them all different sorts of things like you know, domestic, they might live in a domestic violence household. Well, like not all households are like that. If they, um, you know, have a friend that's forever putting them down, well, you know, not all friends are like that. Yep. So it's to show them, you know, different sorts of situations, different body images, and it's run by um, a martial arts expert. So she does a little bit of the martial arts, a little bit of body image, a little bit of education and, you know, helps them through and it then enables them to get to high school and be able to deal with other situations at high school. Yeah, as we know, you know, bullying in schools and it still is prevalent um, and I think, you know, that education of healthy friendships or healthy relationships all ties in hand with domestic and family violence. And, yeah, and if kids are um, maybe confronted in some way, maybe it is practical to know how to defend themselves, uh, not to fight but to defend themselves and, and carry on. Um, so with that sort of child program um, and other things Zonta is heavily involved in is RUBY. Um, if you can tell me what the RUBY acronym <laughs> stands for, uh, run by the PC. CYC. Tell us about that. So Ruby stands for Rise Up, Be Yourself, and it's for survivors of domestic violence and they go to the PCYC and they go through a program which is run by, I think, a police woman or a police person. Maybe it's not a woman. Um, and that, you know, gives them things like how to find the solicitor, how to get to a bank to get money to survive, how to... You know, all the things that you don't normally do in your daily life if you're in a relationship and then all of a sudden you're cut off from that and you need yeah. help with finding all those, you know, maybe even just getting a bond yeah. to show you how to go about getting a bond for a rental accommodation. Yeah, it's uh, extremely important. Like uh, we, I know personally of other involvement that I'm in around the community, um, there's so many resources available, but sometimes it's taking that step to connect with that resource. That's right. And um, and as we know, some some people that are escaping uh, family violence, um, the other partner in the relationship may have done all the bookwork or may have looked after the money in the relationship. Yeah. So it is confronting. And if there's those basic skills, um, another pro great program, Ruby, rise up. Be on, be yourself. Right, rise up, be yourself, Ruby, uh, through the PCYC, which is another local initiative. Um, well, the reason we came across Ruby was one of our members' daughters. She got into Ruby after a relationship breakdown, and that's how we found out about Ruby, because, like, I don't think it's advertised wise, widely. Yeah. So unless you know somebody connected to it, you may not have heard about it. Yeah. So it's good that we were able to jump on board and support them to run the course for another six to 12 months. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, with Zonta, Patricia, um, where does your funding, where, how do you raise money to support these programs? Well, we have our International Women's Day, which is our big thing. Well, it's not a fundraiser, but like you have a raffle, so you raise money from that. Then on the 28th of May this year, we've got our trivia night. So mark that in your diary and you can come to our trivia night. The venue is to be decided because we've got to wait for COVID. And then at the end, of, or not the end, but September, we have a fashion parade. So those sort of things. And we were having Bunnings barbecues, but as everybody knows, the Bunnings barbecues are sort of a bit scant at the moment. Um, so, and then at the end of the year, we're hoping to have a mega draw online raffle. So we've got a lovely quilt that's been donated to us by the ladies out of Healthy and Glades over 50s community. Um, and we've got a few other things that, you know, will be in that raffle, but like as time gets 
you know, to maybe July, August, we'll start advertising that and so people can see what we've got. Yeah, it's so great, like, knowing where your funding or your money's uh, getting um, uh, raised to then put back into the community and obviously supporting women around the world, but particularly in our backyard here in Caboolture. It's really interesting too. Like, we have been in Caboolture for 28 years. Zonta in the world has been around for 100 years. Wow. But you tell somebody, oh, I belong to Zonta. Oh, what is Zonta? It's a service club for women. And people go, oh, I've never heard of it. Yeah. Like, how could they not hear of it? Every time you talk to me, I'll be telling you about it. Yeah, and, you know? and hence why we're on the platform today. Um, I, I want to get around to the community, as I do, to showcase um, the work that, you know, Zonta and other clubs. There's, there's, a, there's quite a few clubs around town that do different um, uh, fundraising and then support different services. But um, I think there's a core value there with Zonta of supporting women. Um, let's move on to the young females in our community. Um, there's the Banksy Awards. Let's roll on to that. Okay, so the Banksy Award, that is, um, we put the criteria to the schools. So there's 17 schools that we send the information to and they pick a girl in year 11. So the girl in year 11 may be somebody who has a mum in a wheelchair, um, maybe have a disabled sibling that they look after before they have to go to school. So it's an encouragement award to um, enable them to or to encourage them to go on and finish year 12 and therefore, you know, be able to make something of their life rather than just cutting off because it's in the too hard basket. And is that a financial reward? Yes, or? it's a financial reward. But another thing we've just started up to now is future education. So that's open to the ones who have finished year 12 and are looking on going to tertiary or TAFE or something like that. So there's also a financial um, award for that too. So you can find us on Facebook and, you know, send us a message and we can tell you more about that because yeah, that also comes with a criteria that yeah. you need to address. Um, yeah, again, just um, it's just humbling that you're supporting young females in our area uh, because it is that little bit of boost of confidence or that yeah. encouragement and yes the financial assistance is great uh, but obviously leaders like yourself and you've been around town uh, long enough to to know um, that you know some of our demographic and our, our youth are important that we need to keep encouraging them and maybe if it wasn't for people like yourself through Zonta um, some of these girls just wouldn't have a chance. Well that's right you know and so we're hoping that we help different people um, you know there was one, uh, one school came to one of our meetings one night and talked about the Be Brave program and they were the year six girls and one of the girls I remember her saying like it helped her but then she could pass it down to her younger siblings and show them the program yep. and so therefore it helped them as well so you know that was lovely to yeah. know that you just weren't helping that one child you were helping more people in that family yeah, and becomes generational i guess yes, from there exactly yeah um Lovely to have you on 4510TV. Uh, we are a community worth watching for this purpose that we want to get the word out of, of groups like Zonta. Um, yes, you've been here 28 years and I know what Zonta is, but if you don't, um, our viewers follow the links that we've got and um, I'm sure there's something there, if not uh, in your own family, uh, maybe you know of, uh, of a younger lady in our area that needs a, a help up or a helping hand, uh, most definitely get in contact with Patricia and, and her, um, her club. Any final words on Zonta? Um, no, I don't think so. I think you've covered everything and, you know, more well, more members are always welcome. So, as you said, follow the links and you can find out how to contact us about becoming a member because we're a great organisation and we're here to stay. <laughs>